Hello and welcome back to Improvement, the show by SC to Improve, where you can get your replays casted and analysed. Hope you're enjoying it, and we're going to be going into our next replay right now, would you believe? So, without further ado, we're going to just take off the overlay, get straight into the game. So, in the top half hand corner, you do have our red Zerg player. Calevra. And in the bottom right corner we do have our Blue Zerg player Nemesis who did uh, submit this replay and I do believe he said he was in Gold League so taking a step back from Daniwa and Bourne's kind of level. Again guys, please do give the stream a follow on uh, please do give the stream a follow so that you can see when we go live with all kind of SE2 improve events. Um, after the new year coming up we do have the SE2 Improve Weekly number 40 which is going to be Wednesday the 9th of January and it's going to be a Heart of the Swarm special. So do check that out, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, pretty much an SE2 Improve Weekly only on Heart of the Swarm. Beta. Uh, we've got some other cool things coming up and some cool ideas that we want to put into action as well so follow us sc 2 improveorg follow us on the Twitter at sc 2 underscore improve and you won't miss absolutely anything at all pool first from both players Calavera going for a little bit of an earlier pool going for 13 pool which is a little bit interesting <coughs> gas coming down as well for Calavera so not going for a very fast land. Nemesis is going for a much more kind of macro oriented play here with the pool, then hatch on uh, 16. Very standard kind of ZVZ kind of build right now. Just getting the pool in case of an early pool, and then just getting the hatch down uh, pretty early on as well. Queen starting up. The pool is up as well. And. Uh, Nemesis is about coming in to scout his opponent. Uh, Red Zerg player hasn't scouted at all apart from his overlords. He knows now his opponent's like cross positions. And Nemesis is going to be able to get in here, see exactly what his opponent's up to. He's going to be able to see that gas if he goes in right now. Uh, unless he gets denied by the Ling, but he does see guys mine and he does see the gas as well. And he even sees the Roach Roran if he clicks on it, so wasn't sure if he clicked on that there. But if he did, he knows the Roach Roran is up. And so he'll be able to start investing in his defences. What he really needs to do is just throw down some spines because Unless his opponent cancels, which is very pos a good possibility, Spines are just going to be able to shut down any kind of early roaches um, pretty early on. So, four links popping out. Nemesis just getting ready to kind of defend here, starting up a spine crawler. As I said, he probably should. Picks off these first two things as well. And Calavera actually isn't going to make any real. There we go, there's a 7 Roach. So 7 Roach Rush. And right now, we do see our Nemesis. He's playing this pretty nice. He's starting up a Roach one of his own. He, if you know your opponent's going to just skip straight into Roach Tech, you can do that too. I mean, the only thing that can really take, kill you can, when you skip straight to Roach Tech is kind of like a heavy Ling pressure, kind of when you've got a few Roaches out. If your opponent's going straight for Roaches, go straight for Roaches too. Then Roaches should be able to pop out uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, might be able to get this overall too, which would be very nice. 28, 20, 11, 2, and the overall dies. So Clever gets supply blocked here as he starts up speeding the hatchery of his own. Not actually attacking with the Roaches, so decided not to do that. So the name is this, just going to end up kind of not being... Um, well, yeah, there we go. There's the attack with the roaches. So, finally attacking with the roaches. Nemesis got the spine crawl with some roaches of his own. He should be able to defend. For Nemesis, if he had the overlords kind of spread a little bit better, if he had an overlord over here, he'd be able to see when these roaches are exactly coming, make sure an attack's actually coming, and so on. So, again, just that overlord spread towards the opponent's base, very important. Actually going to lose these initial links. Just going to have to run back with them, losing all but two. So, again, if the overlord spread was coming, he'd be able to see them roaches coming, wouldn't have lost them links. And he'd know how many overlords, uh, how many roaches of his own he needs to make as well. Starting up three, sp uh, two spine crawlers of his own, too. So, 
So Nemesis says he's going to be able to start with his own speed. He's going to be behind his opponents, but if he plays defensively, he should be okay. He's gone straight into the uh, plus one missiles. You know, that's fine. Um, Cause starting to get the upgrades ASAP. That's uh, pretty cool. And right now, he does hold a worker lead, about six workers. And with these three spines, he should feel pretty confident to kind of uh, continue droning. And that's exactly what he's actually going to do. Again, the only other thing he could really work on right now is having this overlord kind of over in position over here so you can see exactly when his opponent comes out with more units so that he can stop droning in plenty of time and go straight into kind of unit production to defend from an attack. So plus one, going to uh, start coming up. Calavera going for the much faster lair though. Um, you know, Nemesis could consider taking a second gas right now, starting to take up to lair of his own uh, once he's done with his kind of droning stage. Once he's got as many drones out as he would like. Starting up his speed as well, again that doesn't really matter right now because he's got a couple of roaches, he's got these spines to help defend. So he's in a pretty solid position as he does start up his own lair. So again, he just needs to kind of start up his own gases and that's exactly what he's deciding to do. I know another spine crawler, so a little bit too cautious again if, again, it comes down to if you have the overlord over here, then you're going to be able to just uh, be able to see any attacks coming and you wouldn't have to invest into this spine and so on. And you just be able to kind of be a lot more ahead because he'd be being so much more greedy. So they're going to finish with Clever, see what kind of tech path he wants to go into. He doesn't have that much gas saved up, he never started this third and fourth gas. So he could start up a Spire, but then he's going to have to drop his gases pretty quickly. Could start with an Infestation play if he wants to play Roach Infesta. Um, I'll have to wait and see, as he's just not using anything right now. But making an Overseer so he knows his layers up, we're just waiting for his tech choice to kind of come in. As Nameless is just going to take a third base almost immediately. Uh, as his lair's still on the way up, again, Nemesis still holds a pretty nice economic lead here, about seven roaches behind. Seven roaches, seven drones behind. And there is indeed the Spire play from Calavera, so... Right now, for Nemesis, again, still no overlords out on the map. But, if he could get an overlord up here, making an overseer coming in scout, that's kind of the scout he's going to need to kind of prepare for this, uh... Spire. Third base going to be up. If he can kill the third base against the vet, uh, the Mutalisk player, he's going to be in a pretty sick position because, I mean, against the Mutalisks, obviously the Mutalisk player is the, gu has the, is the guy with map control. So if he's able to, um, if, if he's able to um, defend the Mutalisks and hold his own third base, he's going to be so far ahead and probably just be able to put a pretty uh, damn strong counter-attack. Even right now, though, he's got pretty st strong attack timing that he could be using that he isn't. Uh, he's got the plus one, and he could right now just be attacking, and really his opponent doesn't have anything. This spy is so late. There's no kind of spine coolers down as well, so, again, if you have an overlord or an overseer over here, if you can scout your opponent, you see he's got seven roaches in the spire. That attack count timing could have been so, so powerful by now already, so... As the game continues, Nemesis continues to put himself in a nice position. Look at the income tab. He's a little bit behind, so could be doing a little bit more heavy, which is exactly what he's doing now. He's actually started up a fourth base too, so just getting rid of all his money. Maybe not get a fourth base, maybe a macro hatch is fine. But again, there's not really much need for a fourth base right now, even if you've got loads of money. He's going to go into Spire himself, which is going to end up being a little bit awkward because his opponent's going to have a huge uh, gas and mutilate, lead, which is where this game could start turning around kind of for Nemesis. He's invested into Roach, he's invested into Roach Speed, and you don't want to invest into Roach Speed and Mutalisks because it's just too gas intensive in on the Roaches, uh, especially if you're going to have to go up to a lot of Mutalisks if your pl opponent's playing Mutalisk too, so... <coughs> for uh, Nemesis in general, I think... Um, Going for the infestation pit be a bit of a better choice here, uh, and would we'll definitely uh, play better with his uh, kind of roach style right now. Cancelling that fourth base, not too much of an issue, but again, that's the kind of reason why you might just consider uh, not going for a fourth base and just making a macro hatch instead. Saturation is looking pretty good in the natural, it's looking pretty good in the main two, just a little bit undersaturated, about four drones down on each. So again, just needs to start uh, drilling up a little bit more. As the game kind of continues, these links will clean out this roach on the tower. Nemesis just needs a, another thing Nemesis could be doing right now, move these spam crawlers forward a little bit to uh, kind of take position uh, and defend kind of the entrance to all three bases at the same time instead of just at the natural. So, Nemesis with a lot of uh, these roaches here is going to start up his mutas. The spire is actually never made use of by Clever, who started up a lot of spore crawlers of his own. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but if this overseer, well, what's the overseer being in and see? Overlord's been in, 
ha overseer hasn't been in. If the overseer goes in here, sees all these uh, spoke rules, it'll realize, hey, what's the point in making mutilists? They're not going to really come down to and do that much. So, infestation pick going for clever and Nemesis continuing to hold this lead here. Uh, looked like he was going to use his links to go for maybe some kind of counter attack right now, but again, no third base from his opponent. He knows that um, he's pretty happy just staying in his own base. He knows he's not behind or anything like that. So. It's pretty hard to just stay in his own base for now as he start finishes up his extra gases and he's going to take into infestation pit as well. His opponent's starting to go into hive. A uh, little bit of lingering by coming in here to the third base. And again, this is what I was talking about as just mentioned that kind of spine core position along here. Sure, it wouldn't have stopped all the roaches, but if you had your army behind it, uh, all the links would have pretty much died on their way in. So, clever for a nice little attack, clears out the mineral line, uh, which is about four or five workers and kills the queen as well. So Nemesis, again, just get them spine calls over here, position your army in a position to defend all three bases, and you're going to be in a little bit of a better position. Muta's actually moving out on the map now for Nemesis, as Kalevra actually decides to make 13 mutas of his own. A little bit of a fourth base going up here, and uh, Nemesis doing a really nice job actually scouting around, checking, because he knows there's no third base over here, where can that third be? And he actually will find that with a link, so a nice little check there, just taking the map control as early as he can. And these mutas are going to start picking off overlords, but as 30 mutas pop from Kalevra, uh, Nemesis is going to find himself in a little bit of trouble. He's going to lose these mutas almost definitely, or at least get chased down, losing one mutas immediately. And Kalevra now going to chase away their mutas. And again, Nemesis didn't kind of continue to commit into these uh, mutas. He's going to start a Hydra Den. He's got an infestation pit down, so you could stop half and glands and get in his infestors up quite quickly. Mutas going to come and save the third base over to the right. And the meter is now coming down into the third. And they're going to start, the Sporkos clan starting up now, which is a little bit late considering how early you did see the uh, meters. Them Sporkos could have finished up already, but no. And Nemesis is actually in trouble of lo losing his third base here because he just doesn't have enough anti air. One thing he could be doing right now is just counter attack. If he can force his opponents, you just have to come home. He could maybe save his third base, but he's just kind of sitting in his natural night right now, right now, kind of waiting, getting some hydras of his own up, trying to spore up the place as well. And again, just kind of being too defensive on the natural, and he could be defensive at the third base too. Sure, I mean, the mutas is a bit of a different story, but he could have had them spores up just a little bit earlier, so just as soon as you see the mutas think, well, where do I need to defend? Put them spores down ASAP as clever right now. Uh, he's saying okay if he can get this third side trade, although he's in a bit of a dodgy position, so a Ling run by over there could very easily pick that off and do a lot of damage. How does, you know, they're starting to pop out here. Small pull or two going to be able to uh, get in a good position. And these mutas are actually going to come in for uh, Nemesis as well. With the instant deep, it's actually going to make this a very nice fight for him. Make them mutas last a little bit longer and make his own mutas take a little bit less damage. Small pull is obviously doing a lot of damage as well. Not sure where the hiders are. Uh, there's a few of them at the front of the natural, but the Hydra Den is actually being targeted down. And Nemesis looks like he might go for a counter attack. He's going to go attack up at that third base of his opponent. But again, he's not got too much to uh, kind of defend here. Uh, the Hydra's going to come in now, but there's not really enough Hydra's to deal with that. Uh, some more Hydra's are now starting to come out. So Nemesis, just a little bit of a weird tech choice path uh, continually throughout the game. But he's going to be able to take out for the third base, which is, uh, again, a nice little pick off. Uh, knowing that his opponent's not got a third base up, means that it was kind of okay to lose his own third, although, of course, not ideal. So he still maintains a 40 supply advantage here. Only really one, two spores in the main base to defend uh, from the mutas right now. The queen just on the way back up. The mutas does go down. So one, two mutas will be taken out by this spore before it dies. Uh, but more and more mutas continue to come in. Again, that infestation pit could be really useful right now. But full on attack going to come into the base of Kalevra. Going to force the air pull back. But how much damage is he going to be able to do before he uh, pulls back with the mutas? Well, we might just have a straight up base for a situation. So Nemesis just recognizing, well, you probably don't have that much on the ground because he invested so heavily into mutas. And so he's going to counter attack and do as much damage as he can, maybe try and take out the natural or so. It's going to take the Muse a while to clean up the roaches as well, even once they get back here. So if uh, Nemesis can maybe even take out both the uh, hatchery at the natural and the hive, he's going to be able to take out the queen there. He's actually probably going to get the hive here before these uh, roaches die. In fact, he's definitely going to get that hive. And Clever actually just GG's because the base is going to go down. And um, a pretty interesting game. And quite a lot to talk about. So. To start with, um, basically choose a tech path. I mean, you went for the spy, you saw maybe the spy wasn't the best choice in the world. So you kind of went into the infestation pit, but 
you kind of need to go for the infestation pit a little bit sooner and actually make use of that because if you can make use of that it'd be pretty good I mean the hydras are good too but maybe just a few too many roaches scouting a lot earlier on would have been so 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 good because you could have seen well hey I can hit with a plus one time with my roaches because your upgrades were just that so much uh, faster so a plus one time you could have done so much damage against the lack of spines and defensives of the mute attacking player you would have seen the mute attacking the mute attack as well a lot sooner so you could have put down your own hydra den or you could put down your own infestation pit a lot sooner so it all kind of comes down to just scouting a lot earlier on with this overseer and I mean can't really check what you saw now but you could have seen a lot of it so much earlier and just adapted so much sooner and so on. You were still in the sick position again, you saw the mutilists and when you saw the mutilists you still had plenty of time to start up the spores here so that was just a little bit of a misstep not starting up them spore crawlers but counter attacking at the end when you didn't have enough to clear up the mutilists was a good choice and uh, that's why you won the game of course so good game. Gonna take a little quick break again with some music uh, just for five minutes or so and then we'll be right back with more replays and more casting so guys stay with us i'm wardy check us out on twitter facebook sc2improve.org and we'll be back very very soon